And welcome to our community. Susie Thomas here with you this morning, visiting with Larry Burgett from the Canton Christian Home. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Doing so well and so happy to have you here. There's always really exciting things going on at the Canton Christian Home. Um, Before we get into all of the upcoming events. Let's just talk about the home for people who might not be familiar. You've recently got some marvelous recognition. Tell us about that. I work with an auxiliary board. An auxiliary is there to help the Canton Christian Home Ministry in many different ways. One is that they do fundraising projects so we can buy different things for the home. They do a lot of volunteering with the residents of the home, you know, sometimes holding hands and talking to them, reading the Bible, whatever it might be. They've spent hours of volunteering at the home and then doing these different projects for the home. And so over 38 years that the auxiliary's been involved, they have given us, provided over one million dollars in projects Mm. Uh, Mm. and 400 over 400,000 just benevolence for people who can't pay their way over those years and so as because of all that good works we have we are being recognized on september the 8th in columbus at the leading age trade show the leading age is the association for nonprofit homes for nursing homes and and uh, retirement homes in ohio Mm -hmm. at their trade show for having the group that has done the most for nursing homes and, uh, and uh, retirement homes in the state of Ohio. In, in all of the state of in Ohio, state you are of number all one. Of, number one. That is incredible. Tell everyone where you're located. I'm at, we're at 2550 Cleveland Avenue Northwest here in Canton, Ohio. And we are just starting in our 40th year now. Mm-hmm. But the, the auxiliary has been involved now 38 years of that 40. Change has taken place. I know there's always internal and program changes and the health and medical offerings that you have always updating and always changing. But the physical look of the Canton Christian Home has undergone a transformation. Tell us a little bit about that. We knew we needed to update. You know, we were something like 37, 38 years of age, and a lot of things needed to be updated. But not only did we need to update, we needed to do something that says to the curb, people on the curbside, oh, look at that. What a change they made. So we put two end caps on, added 15 apartments there. And the other thing we've done is instead of having one big dining room for institutional type of dining room, no, we have four smaller dining rooms, mm-hmm. family, neighborhood, cluster type of things, and that means a lot. So it, 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 doesn't, it gets away from the institutional look and gets down to the more family, fa- neighborhood look, and mm-hmm. we really enjoyed that too. Something nice that you do is you um, introduce dinner partners and lunch partners and put together tables so that the residents really do form nice relationships, don't they? Right. One of the things when people come into the home, we have a buddy system. You know, to help them get acquainted because it's all new to them. You know, maybe they've been living in their home for 55 years or whatever it might be. And now they come into Canton Christian Home and, oh, it's so different. And so we find somebody who lives in the home, who enjoys the home, and then that's their buddy and helps them get around and becomes their friend. And sometimes they become their lifelong friends, mm-hmm. friends for the rest of their life, you mm-hmm. know, until they really get acquainted. But some just stay that that friendship relationship continues on and on. And you have some very energetic people living there and serving in that role of buddy. Uh, talk a little bit about some of these residents. They're just, they glow when they talk about all you have to offer. Uh, thank you. Um, one of the things we've, we like to do is encourage people to come in when they're really well. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have independent living. We have assisted living we have nursing care we have five different levels of assisted living and so when people come in well uh, then they feel they can do so many different things and it's not only do so many things for themselves but also they can do so many things for somebody else and in some cases some people are coming in to help even feed in nursing care when <laughs> people have a harder time feeding themselves you know and so they just get involved and so that's what we always encourage them. Don't wait till it's too late. And then you can't get in because they're full or something like that. Come and get involved and get, go into the activities, build relationships with one another, and, uh, you know, spiritually grow and during our chapel services mm-hmm. and other things of that nature. So we encourage, come in early. It, it's really wonderful to see because I know someone might not be feeling well. They might be having a bad day. And and someone else will come and sing. They, they, perhaps like when they were more active or not, not living at the home, they were very active in music, and they would come and sing yeah. to the person who's not feeling well. You really do have not just volunteers 
working with residents and not just paid employees working with residents, but also residents working with residents. Residents with residents, right. And, you know, some of these people who may not be able to sing now because of their mm-hmm. health situation, mm-hmm. but you can see their lips moving when somebody else mm-hmm. is singing with them or mm-hmm. there. And that means so much. You know, they know some of these songs, you know. Uh, Precious Lord, or mm. Draw Me Near, or, you know, that type of thing. That and stays a, with you. That just stays with you, yes. And, and even if you can't verbally get it out, it stays with you internally. Mm-hmm. And so when somebody comes, a resident or somebody else comes and starts, just and sometimes just being there, sometimes you, sometimes you don't know what to say, you know, to an individual. But just being there with them means so much mm-hmm. to these individuals. You have wonderful, you mentioned chapel services, also great programs and great special events. Um, you want to talk about any of those? Okay, we, we have two activity people. Mm-hmm. That Well, we really have four, but two main ones. We have one for, uh, for independent living residents, and we have one for nursing and assisted living residents. Of course, our nursing assisted living is a licensed area. Independence is not a licensed area. It doesn't have to be. And so we... Put, not, put it together a nice budget just so that there's different activities coming in all the time for the residents and have a bus. An auxiliary, uh, our auxiliary board has bought a bus for us and we can take residents different places. Sometimes it's just independent residents. Sometimes it's assisted and living and uh, nursing residents them by themselves you know, because sometimes they can't do what the independents can do. Mm-hmm. But there's activities going on all the time. I, I noticed one week the calendar had like seven different bus trips going out. You know, and the, oh my word! Yeah, so, yeah, but you know, there might be something in the morning for one, and something else in the afternoon for another, and yes. that type of thing. So, a lot of different things going on. So, it's also like a little city in and of itself because I, when my mother was staying there, she could get her hair done, go to exercise class, go to Bible study, and then go out to lunch. And she had never left the building. Yes, it's all yes. under one roof, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. really feeling very active and so uh, happy to be there. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's talk about. You mentioned very quickly uh, for people who can't pay. That's unique about you because probably they can pay when they first come, but it, with extended life and so forth and the good care, they might outlive their money, and that, then that's that a very is. scary thing. What happens? And that is that's a real concern for people when their money runs out and they have pride and they don't want to really say, "Oh, I need your help." Mm-hmm. But we're there to help people. And once somebody moves into the home. In 39 plus years now, no one has had to leave the home because mm. their money has run out. Mm. And so annually right now, it runs about $300,000 of benevolence that we provide. Wow. And so, you know, I get some from churches and we have special programs like we're going to talk about here and that type of thing. But just to know that they can come in there and live and not have to worry about their money. And so what happens when their money starts getting down there, they come in, they sit with our, sit down with our executive director, and they work out a budget. Mm-hmm. Okay, you need so much for this and so much. And here's what you already receive. You receive, you know, nobody turns money over to us. They just pay a month, monthly rent. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there are some homes where you have big, big uh, amounts that you have to pay, founder's fees and so on. And so it's just a monthly rent. And so we work out a budget. May want to make sure that their Medicare deductible is taken care of. We want to make sure they got clothing allowance, some money for hair. The ladies especially like to get oh, hair. Yes, yes. Sometimes it's hard to find some hair on some men. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, all of those things are worked out in a budget. And then they can relax knowing that that money is going to be there to pay their rent every month. Mm-hmm. And because of that, because you do that, you have fundraisers. Right. Now let's get into what you're doing okay. here today. We've got okay. some things coming up. Let's talk about them. Okay. On August the 12th, on August the 12th, Friday, August the 12th, from 6.30 to 8.30, we will have Terry Lee Coffee, G-O-F-F-E-E, who looks like Johnny Cash, sings Johnny Cash songs. Really? And, <laughs> and the family has endorsed him as the <gasps> ultimate Johnny Cash. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. And so, I mean, there's others that sing Johnny Cash songs, but this guy looks like him, sings them, and being endorsed by the family. And he's going to be at Canton, well, he's really going to be at Malone University Johnson Center. Mm-hmm. Because right next door. Right next door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're located at 2550. Johnson Center is located at 2600 Cleveland Avenue. And so he's going to be right next door. And uh, the time is from 6.30 to 8.30, and he's going to be singing some of Johnny Cash's songs. All, in fact, all of them are Johnny Cash's songs because he sounds and looks like Johnny Cash. <laughs> but some of them going to be country 
It's patriotic and gospel. Oh, how neat. Songs. And this is Friday the 12th. Friday, Friday August the 12th. Mm-hmm. All right. How do we get tickets? How much does this okay. cost? And All right. so forth. You can stop in at Canton Christian Home and get tickets there. The cost is $25 for an individual who's not a veteran. Any veteran or military person only has to pay $10. We want to recognize them for mm-hmm. the freedoms we have today. Yes. And so they're on, it only costs $10. They can also go online. If you go online, it's cantonchristianhome.org. And there's a place under events, and you can just go down and then buy your tickets there and use credit card and so on. And then we'll send the tickets right to you by email. Uh, and so, Perfect. And then, and then you can also come in to the Malone, Johnson, M- Malone University Johnson Center on the, ninth, on the, eight, I mean the 12th, mm-hmm. on the 12th of uh, August, and buy tickets there. Okay, so tickets available at the door. Does it cost more at the door? Or does not more? cost more at the door. It's, everything is $25 and, or $10 for the veterans and so on. And if you going to come early and want to come early, we're going to have some concession-type food from 4 to 6. Some hot dogs, some sausage sandwiches, some pretzels, some hot big big pretzels. Oh, wow. And um, soda, you know, chips, soda, pop, water. Will that also be at the Johnson Center, or will that be across the driveway at the that, Canton Christian Home? That'll be at the Canton Christian Home. Okay. Well, it be under a tent, because it'd be under the big tent we're going to have the next day for the barbecue. Okay. <laughs> but also, after the, after the concert, at 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, we're going to sell ice cream oh. and soda and water. For people before they go home, because some may come a distance and say, oh, let's stop at the ice cream store or something like that. And we're saying, oh, don't stop at the ice cream store. Stop at our tent right there on the adjacent property. You know your audience. Yeah. That's exactly what people do. They go to some a program like this and then stop for ice cream on the way home. You are brilliant. Provide oh, the you. ice cream right there. Yeah, Absolutely. buy it there. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. All right. Uh, so that is all taking place this Friday. Then uh, then Saturday, the 13th, you've got and we got we'll a chicken barbecue. barbecue. Now, this will be our ninth annual chicken barbecue we put up a big tent i mean one whole area of our parking lot and we'll sell 625 chicken halves and is when it too you, late is it too late to be able to oh get no to go you to can, that? yeah okay. oh, you can get tickets right now awesome in fact i got two tickets for you oh thank uh, yeah, you I you know you. i love that barbecue <laughs> oh yes i got two tickets for you free <laughs> thank you so yeah. much yes you can get tickets by calling canton christian home or mm-hmm. going online again at cantonchristianhome.org and under events, and there's chick- about the chicken barbecue. Awesome. Give the menu, and is there a little bit of a program? Yeah. Will you tell about the home and so forth? We'll, we'll tell a little bit about the home, mm-hmm. but we find that a lot of people already know a lot about the yeah, home that's yeah. been coming to our barbecue because it's the ninth year for it. Mm-hmm. And so um, at the chicken b- barbecue, we'll have um, half a chicken, then we'll have uh, uh, baked potato and uh, applesauce or coleslaw, mm-hmm. and then a cookie and a beverage. And I say I might miss one thing. Okay. I'm not sure, but that all sounds but, good enough. But, <laughs> yeah, I, well, you I kind of had is it half a chicken? So right, <laughs> and half a chicken. You'll take some home. That's I, right. Uh, yeah, you do. You know, we just have a couple more, about a minute left in this first okay. segment. So let's talk about that food. How good is the food at the Canton Christian Home? Your chefs are amazing. Well, thank you. Yeah, we have a nice, good working chef, and he's very good. And now, in addition to not only our dining room, we now have a cafe. Mm. And the cafe, we have deli sandwiches, we have um, ice cream, we have soft serve ice cream, jo- chocolate, vanilla, and swirl. Mm. Um, we have pies, cakes, salads. You can eat there. Anybody can eat, come in uh, from the outside right. come in with the family, be guests by yourself. Uh, so we uh, use that cafe as breakfast for our residents. But then we have the regular dining room. In fact, we have one dining room for the independents. We have four dining rooms for the nursing and assisted living, smaller ones uh, upstairs on the second floor now. So nice. I want to get more into that in our yeah. second half. Uh, we're talking with Larry Burgett from the Canton Christian Home. Going to take a break. You're listening to Our Community.